back in this bitch, uh Know we full attack in this shit, uh You know the full Mac came equipped, uh So promise you don't want no issues bro. Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the 8192 Podcast We always keep it 100 I am flying solo today, so I am your host that y'all all know, Harrison Thank you, thank you, guys, guys Guys, guys, come on, come on Come on, oh my god, look can I can I get through the introduction, please? Thank you. So this is uh I appreciate the audience and everybody cheering for me today. This has been a this is a very special episode because you know uh, I call this the Slutty Boy Reunion. Um, uh, I got my P Cola dogs with me. One more joining in. Most of them that could join today. So I got my man. So I'm gonna call them by their last names because they have the same first name. So we got my man Andrews with me today, and we got my my man. Marshall with me today. Both of my brothers from another different plantations, you know what I'm saying? But they still picking cotton. My niggas, how are y'all today? <laughs> I'm good, dog. How you living? I'm doing good. What about you, Marshall? Everything good. My way. How you doing? I'm good, man. I appreciate you being able to take this call. You know, I know you only get 23 and one, but uh, we're gonna make sure uh, <laughs> we're gonna make sure you get it. But now, nah, how y'all boys been? It's been a minute since I seen y'all. What's everything going on in H Town? And old Alabama. It's been good, bro. I've been living. Uh yeah, man. Just enjoying it out here, dude. Uh yeah, I, I'm really enjoying Houston. Oh, okay. Yo, this nigga thought every time he got some hookah, I this nigga be lighting up. But uh <laughs> we got my other we got my other dog in here, Chris, you know, Christoph and it's what's today, you know. Uh just getting it, up, man. Everybody say what's up to my dog Chris. Yeah, but yeah, so you know, so we got my dog um, Andrew. Just said everything was going good with him. Vic, uh, you kind of playing a little, little. Oh shit, Marshall, you kind of playing a little calm today. Like you know, you ain't no big uh, high school coach. Uh, I got my little guy son out there killing them, both of them. So go ahead and tell everybody what's happening in the A. <laughs> oh man, not much, man. You know, I just do a little, little youth football coaching with my kids. You know, back and forth. The same old record. Same. Record. Don't... record. Last year, we, we lost two games last year. Oh, okay. What's your record? Nine two. Say it again. What's your record this year? Oh, we through with it this year, man. We're playing basketball now. Oh, uh, what's the record looking like there? They just be playing each other. You know how it go. You know, they're like a, like a rake league. What's up with your voice, man? You went from casual. You went from, no, you went from casual. Now you're trying to turn niggas on. Like, yeah, we just, man, come we on, just died. I'm just Ooh. chilling. Oh, uh, okay. Voice got deeper. I got you. Then we got my man Chris. <laughs> What's good with you, man? Post military life. How you enjoying it? Love it. Glad I got out. Best fucking <laughs> idea I could ever have. Okay. Some of us are still in. You know, don't don't let them come after all. Yeah. You don't like that, dude. Man, that shit trap. That I'm still in. <laughs> it is yeah. funny. I'm the only one. I'm the last Mohican out of all Ooh. of. Yeah. Hey, you can have it too. That I was the nigga out first. <laughs> was garbage. But no, nah, man, I definitely, uh, uh, Marsha, this is your first time, but I know Vic uh, and uh, Chris been on before, so, so I'm glad to have everybody back. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and hit the first one. I was going to actually start with uh, my man, Juicy Smollett, but we'll go ahead and kick off the sports first before y'all don't want nobody thinking we suicidal in here, not talking about sports, but uh, NFL free agency going off with a splash today. Um, Deshaun Watson, finally free. The only reason I really went to the NFL is because it's just different storyline for different storyline. Uh, Gregory, I can't think of his first name, just bullshitted on the Cowboys. Deshaun Watson, free from a Houston nigga, Vic um, Andrews. That's going to take all day. How, what was your approach coming from? Like, what did you believe this shit happened or did you think it was some shit like that was just trying to get their money back for it? And how you feel? Uh, I think it's a little problem? bit of both. I think I don't put nothing past nobody when you like that. Uh, when you got the bread to do that, you got a little hush money. You can make some make some things happen, bro. But um, uh, I didn't think that many. I didn't think the numbers was there. So you think I, 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 like once or twice? Yeah, yeah. Once, two, shit. Maybe close to ten times, bro. But fifty people, forty people. I'm like, nah, dog. Every other hour. Every other hour. Right. <laughs> well, what's this nigga doing with his time? Um, <laughs> Hey, but I'm saying though, you see, they come up to the nigga say they wanted to trade though. Yeah, that's always, yeah. How it is, that's always how it is. Like that's the funny part about 
uh whenever they want something to happen or whenever you piss somebody off that's when the scandals get unleashed you know when that john yeah, that timing was perfect john yes. Booth, perfect example that's yeah. like uh antonio brown too with the uh with a physical therapist yeah 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 i remember that yep I still believe he did it though. We can't we can't hold Antonio <laughs> regular nigga standards, you know. Antonio <laughs> sitting places, also true. putting uh, rap albums out, pitting out the battles. But no, I just thought it was funny. I'm not saying again, you know. I, I look at the Chris Brown situation, and I bring it up later. But I, I look at the Chris Brown situation like every all it takes is one name to go, and you mean to tell me this nigga just going to every massage parlor pulling his dick out? Like he just ain't Deshaun Watson. Like like right. I can get I can get. I can get play from anybody else, but I'm gonna go to this fifty dollar massage parlor and just whip my dick out unsuspected. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just and, and yeah, and you know he he in a good relationship. His girl, she look good, bro. And, you know, yeah. which I ain't saying much, but <laughs> hey, what you saying? That uh, he was such a high profile dude. I mean, but then again, the owner of the uh, Patriots did the same shit. That and that lasted for a week. As soon as they got Antonio Brown, right, 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 right. We didn't hear no more about it. It's but uh, you know, so now he's talking to teams and stuff. And what you think? Uh, what you think? You cool with his decision to leave? And where you think he's going? Absolutely, go? dog. I don't have much faith in the Texans. And anybody who comes here either gets injured or they ain't put up in the position that they need to be in. So yeah, go get your bread, dog. Same thing for J.J. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know why we traded some of the best players in the league, but, you know. Washing machine. Bruh. At, at, at a certain point, I'm like, it's a Houston thing. Like, the actual staff, the coaching, the management just don't want to win. Man, not it's like a, another team front office. Uh, Thank you, bro. The Browns. <laughs> oh, I don't even consider the Browns a real team. But I did know uh, – Kurt, I wish Jacroy was on here so we could talk about how he overpaid and fucked up the wide receiver market for everybody paying Kurt like 74 82 million dollars yeah. for, for a third for a wide receiver number three. Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, Brady back. I don't know oh, yeah, he said, said fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm about to spend two months at the crib with the kids. Say, this ain't right, cool. it's a wrap. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah. I, I see that though. I didn't think it was real at first. I was like, he ain't about to retire. He gonna come back. It was just extra. I was just like, because one, I was I took up for the kids, and then you go say fuck the kids. I'm like, what am I gonna do? You know, I done took up for the kids, and I gotta say fuck the kids too, because you going back to work. But I don't think he gonna. You think he gonna get another one? Um, I say he got a chance. No, no, he got a chance, man. I mean, he got to go through Tennessee, but we all, we all, I ain't, all, I ain't doubting him. I don't ever doubt TV twelve. I mean, you can't. You can't, you can't yeah, doubt him. But I, I can't doubt him. You can't bet against him. Uh, yeah. yeah, after yeah. twenty eight, there you go. Play. If he get yeah. there, if he get there, yeah, is his team good enough to get there? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But if he get him there, they got a chance. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, a division basically weak as hell now because you know Calvin Ridley suspended for betting on himself. And they got yeah. one funny. What's thing? Thing? Shit. Yourself, <laughs> if anybody yeah. bet on yourself. And it, no. bro, that's how much money he bet though. What have really done? Bro, he lost millions for fifteen hundred. The what I didn't get the about Calvin Ridley was you did all this stuff talking about I need to take the season off for a mental health break, which is weird to me. But you know, I'm not here or there to talk about you know the whole mental health thing, how people take it, what they need to do. That's your own thing. But it's like you got suspended and you was about to make eleven million dollars, and then like if, if they got some funny video of him like not going to the touchdown on purpose and shit and they was like oh yeah this motherfucker definitely was betting up yeah, I mean, it was like a few clips yeah like, so, this nigga trying to lose yeah so i don't know it's just it's just i don't know it's just garbage right now but i i don't learn this much from free agency especially when we grabbed julio last year it's just like let's just wait for the playoffs you know and then when the playoffs get there you know everything Harrison, else. what's up you believe in tennessee i believe in tennessee i don't believe in Tannehill. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I but I never liked Tannehill. I've never That's I've true. never preached for Tannehill at all. I like Deuce Deuce. Exactly. I like Deuce Deuce and, and uh Julio when he can stay healthy. Yeah, Tennessee I, got I think, I think Julio done though. I don't think Julio done. I just think that 
Well, first off, if you look at – I know y'all don't watch the games. I know Vic got to watch those beat them twice a year. But, yeah, what goes around comes around. We was dogging y'all niggas forever, so I, I, I guess we give y'all a Or a small stint. I mean, sometimes a cold got to last for three days, right? So, anyways, <laughs> all I'm saying is uh, if you watch the games when he actually – like Tannehill done got so used to throwing to AJ, he just don't even look Julio away. But, I mean, the best ability is availability, and – they went in on their defense, so I mean it should be pretty cool. I, I don't, but at this point, we don't make the playoffs like four or five years straight, so I don't really give a fuck about the regular season because I just wish we would have played the Rams this year. But at this point, uh, Brady was the main thing. But I know as far as like the NBA, uh, Cat put up sixty. This is the most fifty point games I've seen in like a week's time. Yeah, Cat hey, did put up bombs out here. Bro. Like LeBron started it, then Kyrie. Did you see that ball he threw at old dude from the Raptors? Uh, so, yeah, Brian. It's a clip of him. So it's a clip of him playing against the Raptors, and he got he was trying to save the ball, but he basically like heaved that motherfucker with all his strength in the world, and it's like he basically like they trying to say it was flagrant, but he was trying to save the ball, but it was it was just funny if you see it because it's like. He like he took all his anger out for this season and threw it right at that motherfucker. Yeah, I think the older he gets, the more they kind of he ain't in the NBA's favor no more. He's like, still he's it, balling. He's yeah. still balling. He can hoop. I, I look. He can hoop. He one of the best to do it and one of the best in the league. But that's just like kind of like we saw last year with Brady. Like you can only be the goat for so long. You can only be at the top. And I think I say probably in the next three years. I say after his first season, him and his son play together. Yeah, he, oh, he done. He done. Yeah, he yeah. been said, he been said that. He said he would want to lose one season with his son. Charge it. Mm. How y'all feel about my Grizzlies though? John ja Morant is a dog. You know Where who you remind me of? Where he from? He from uh, <laughs> somewhere. South Carolina. I don't know about. <laughs> that. Dude, I mean, know he know yeah, he yeah. from there. Allegedly. Nah, they get born and raised. Quit playing with us. They don't make nothing, but they don't make Green nothing. dogs. Again, allegedly. We. South Carolina's Hall of Famers. If they get to the league, Hall of Fame. Skip the generation. KG. He Ray was, Allen. He got his fame in Chicago. I think you're just saying niggas' names at this point. James they're Harris. They from South Carolina. <laughs> allegedly. But nah, uh, as far as him, I mean, who you feel like is the best so far in the league? I say Tatum, bro. Tatum, a dog. All right. Tatum is the best in the league? Young, are the young cats? Yeah. Under 25. I, so you, I know you ain't that young, but I'll take Giannis right now. How old is Tatum? Uh, Tatum is at 25 or 26, but Tatum is not better than Luka. Yeah, Luka. Luka's Luka wrong. Luka Tatum ain't better than Luka. Luka. I think all like, only reason all like Luka game, bro, just so slow, bro. That's <laughs> But he'll slowly drop 50 on you. Right? Your ass with a triple-double. Right. Yeah. Like two, yeah. I, I get what you said. Play. It's not flashy. But just like Dirk, Dirk wasn't a fast mover. But he got a dub. He got a championship. He got a chip. Hey, Giannis the same way, though. I want to watch Giannis play against the Bobcats. I seen Giannis do three dunks, five free throws, and they ended the game with 41 points. Right. Like, <laughs> Don't know where it came from. <laughs> Let me see. Here go right here. Oh, that's the clip. Hey, bro, playing on the ground. Mac. I, I know they're going to show the – if they look at that, Brian beamed the hell. Russell, I don't know worry about you. Yeah. Brian beamed the hell out of him. If they hurry up and show it, they're going to show the replay. Here it go. Look at this shit. I'm talking about if you ever seen a Kamehameha, he wound that thing up and spiked the hell out of him. Yeah. I was wondering, boy, Westbrook playing, you feel like – because, you know, Brian putting up like 30 points a game. Do you feel like is this in more indicative of how good Brian is or is this indicative of how bad Russell Westbrook is this year? Westbrook Bron- is just Bron- bad. Bron- Bron- Bron is the goat. You just start. Go, go from, any, from without. Because I look at it like he averaging 30 points a game. He done put up two 50-point games in a week's time span. He's the oldest. He's one of the oldest people to – put up 50 points. Kobe got the most at 37 when he put up 61 on his last game. But I looked at it, he just hit 30,000 points, 10,000, 
rebounds, 10,000 assists, and you know he's going to break the all-time scoring record next year. Jordan, yeah, he only got 3,000 points. What's he the all-time? 32? 37. He oh, got 36. 36. Okay. Yeah, he got 36. Yeah. So he's going to break it next year. All-time scoring leader of all time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I think it's just LeBron is that much better. Westbrook, he either needs to be the center of attention or he needs to come off the bench. It, it ain't no in between. <laughs> bro, I can't even blame Westbrook, bro. Because at the end of the day, where's the true superstar who the team is supposed to be for yeah. is always hurt. Are you talking about Anthony Davis? Yeah, bro. Charles yeah. Barkley called him, called him Anthony Street Clothes Davis. Uh, who do you think get hurt more, you or him? Definitely AD. Oh. Oh, okay. Bye, bye. Hey, bro, what ACL, bro? Hey, leave that in the past, man. <laughs> Jump up in there for interception. Knocked out. Ankle hurt. Arm, shoulder dislocated for years. Both of you niggas. So oh, I'll yeah, be yeah. All, I'm, all I'm saying is I still beat you one on one. Oh, people, people say anything when the recording is going bro, on. Bro, you know good way you've never been better than me. Never. That's fine. That's, that was pre-ACLU. I'll take it at your one leg. No. And I'm gonna make sure I hit the bad leg. I'm a jab step. I'm gonna post down. I'm gonna put all that weight on that bad knee, and I'm gonna watch it buckle. And then if you got a, you got a, you got any plates in your knee? Nope. Okay, I was about to say I'll play when it's humid. Just let that rusty ass knee just lock up on your ass, and I'm gonna go past you. Yeah. But nah, um, did y'all hear what happened to uh, Ryan Coogler? Yeah, bro. So I was watching that. Uh, so for if y'all didn't know, uh, Ryan Cooler was going into Bank of America and he had to withdraw twelve thousand dollars. And he wrote on the piece of paper, uh, "My name's Ryan Cooler. If you can give me twelve thousand dollars out this account, um, I would like to keep it discreet." That's and, the producer, right? Yeah, the the producer of uh, Black it's Panther. Black Panther yeah. Um, but yeah, he was like, "I like to keep it discreet." So he shows the girl his driver's license and she shows him the ID number of the account and she calls the, the police on him for uh, she thought he was going to rob the bank so you know they got him, they got him locked up outside but I just I just kind of looked at it for like um, I just thought it was wild because I just sit here and I'm thinking like as a black man what could you do and get the benefit of the doubt like I was watching Fresh Prince and um, the end of the episode where the police come and don't assume it's Carlton House and just automatically like his daddy ain't, you know, who Uncle Phil on the show. But I just look at that and it's like they, they arrested him and took him outside. And he like you can see on his face is traumatic and stuff. And I'm just I'm just like, what what can you do to where everything you t- instill in people when they see you is black? But I was just wondering what y'all thought for the people who did see it. Well, um, Andrews, what you thought? Yeah, bro, I saw the whole situation and uh, I can understand where Ryan Coogler coming from. I'm finna take 12 racks out the bank. I don't really want no people knowing one who I am. And then, you know, uh, I got 12,000. I'm automatically a target as soon as they hand me the money. Uh, I don't think, I think they're the bank teller, she should, um, it should be a protocol for stuff like he that. was black. That's what made it. That's yeah, what made it. bro. I saw that. I'm like, okay. Calm down. Go ahead. Yeah, I ain't that guy, but she she should have got some management involved. Um, and been like, hey, how do we handle this? You know, just a simple question could have cleared it up. Well, but, she uh, had his ID. She had his ID and his account number. So I'm still trying. Yeah. Even the even the woman who they had the police recording of it, and the woman who called it, she was like, "Well, maybe he just don't want nobody to know it's him." He's like, "Do you have his account number?" She was like, "Yeah, it was just really weird." And I'm like, "Come on, Stacy, you black? How are you gonna be calling yeah, the police yeah, on yeah, us? Yeah. Like, hey, you got one job." Hey, the same thing happened with uh black youngster. Now I know yeah. black youngster is the nigga. He looked like he is steal some shit. Well, <laughs> that's one, one <laughs> correct. Two, he pulled out two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but what's the point of having a I'm bank saying, account? I get that part. Your money up. I get that part, but I mean, you saw Ozark when he tried to pull eight million out of his account, and the FBI. Now that's like, now that's different. Oh, that's okay, different. Nah, the white man. But no, nah, nah, but uh, it's, nah. it's eight million. That's a big difference from two hundred thousand. And eight and two hundred thousand and twelve thousand is two big ass differences. I'm just saying, bro. Listen. Somebody pull out eight mil compared to two hundred thousand. You pull out eight mil, I'm like, hold on. 
Yeah. I just want to know. I just want to know what's the standard amount. What's the limit? The minimum limit to not raise suspicion for black people. I don't know. It what, should like, be what, anything, bro. If it's the money in my account, if the money in my account, I should be able to pull it all out. And you talking to a nigga that used to like flip bad checks on purpose, like you know, go write like a thousand dollars in the bank, and you know they hurry up and like give you the deposit or whatever. And so you go ahead and put the, this of all the scammers out there. You know, if y'all try to do it now, it's old. But I was doing this in college, uh, allegedly. So you go ahead, you write the amount on the check, and you know, depending on the check, you know they're gonna give you the the amount uh, up front. You know, to spot you the bill. So then you go out there and you. Uh, you write it, but you put it in your account. So they gonna spearhead it. Think you put deposit a big ass check. You take the money out. You say goodbye to that account because it ain't coming back. So, uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> just let y'all know that right now. It, it was it was four dollars and seventy five cent, and I just deposited a thousand dollar check from myself to myself. Y'all gave me like eight hundred dollars. I ain't coming back. So I don't know what y'all y'all can have this overdraft fee. We'll figure out something <laughs> later. And then you know I'm gonna go from SunTrust to to the regional, and then go on and go on. I'm the Jesse James of the bad checks brigade. Brigade, yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't put money out of Navy Fed. Okay, don't incriminate yourself. The cash you look at me wear. Don't, don't incriminate yourself. Oh, okay, I about to say where you going? <laughs> nah, man. So I had to put out. Uh, I had to pull out eight thousand one time to make yeah. a big purchase because you know when we first moved to South Carolina, they didn't want to swipe my card because you know you swipe your card enough times. They call you like, is this you? And they, they ain't want to deal with that. So I want to pull out money. Uh, what name did they call you? Shut up, ho. You know what name they call you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, man. I'm just asking you. What it, 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 we don't see a Chris in here. James, nigga. Okay. Well, you definitely got police calling you. Go ahead. Nah, so I, so I pulled the money out. And uh, she was like, she was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah. And then another banker from the back came up. I was like, he was like, yeah, you can follow me. You will go back here and talk and uh, get your money for you. And I'm like, I need, why the fuck do I need to go to the back <laughs> to get money out, nigga? Like, just get it from right here. So I remember that he started asking me questions. I'm like, bro, this is my account, nigga, my name, my license. Like, what else I need? Long story short, it took me about 30, 35 minutes to get money out of my account. I told you it's because he called you by your first name and you was like, I'm not getting up. Shut up, man. You, how, how old are you going? How old? I just want to know. You ain't got to say it. What age are you going to embrace it? Because I remember at 18, 19, when I used to start liking the name Junior. But at 7, 8, 9, 10, I used to cry. I remember I was like in this fourth grade. And I was like, if this fucking substitute teacher say James Harrison Junior. And I just busted out crying. I'd I be wondering, like, you know, at what point are you going to embrace it? Never. So if you gra- when you graduate and get your degree, what name are you gonna let them call you across stage? You just gonna sit there in the stand when they say your name? Shit, which, that nigga better hurry up. I'm waiting for my name to be called. Which which degree? <laughs> Any degree. Masters. I, 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 I see DC. I get that master's degree. You can call me whatever you want to, as long as it's on the paper. Oh, uh, for real? That nigga ain't getting up when they call his name. I ain't gonna say y'all name, but you know, y'all can email and we'll let you know the secret to his name. <laughs> All right. this bitch. But uh no, so I uh you and Bama Marshall, any incident like that when niggas ain't um uh believed you was get uh had the mon- money in your account? We all had a bad nah. check for it. Nah man, I ain't play with that shit like that, man. Come on, bro. Uh, okay, so it's still I don't fresh, play huh? the feds, bro. You know still, they don't play still the feds. Still fresh, huh? Okay, so <laughs> limitation straight. limitation ain't hit you. That. No. Limitation ain't hit that, huh? <laughs> But now, what was wild? I said it earlier. Um, two things wild. I don't know. I guess direct comparison. Cry Wolf, another one. Um, that Chris Brown shit. He got end up getting found. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna drop it because old girl was trying to screwing him and she didn't drug him. But I found like that shit is real wild. But uh, the more wild one was the Jesse Smollett shit. I didn't know you can get five months for lying to the police. Yeah, bro. Nah, yeah. my thing is. The nigga, I feel like he feel like he gonna die in jail, bro. Cause he kept saying, "Hey, if I die in jail, I'm not suicidal." <laughs> not gay. <laughs> not gay. <laughs> like nigga said that about three times. <laughs> you know, you get that, you know, that general population is over with. I was just waiting for him to say "Gay Tupac will ride again." I don't know. Why. I thought that's what he was gonna set up and do. He'd be like, "Gay Tupac will return." I'm the gay Tupac. And I was like, I was. You remember that scene? Um. 
well, after Will Smith said he did that scene about his father, he was like, to hell with him. He said, Uncle Phil grabbed him and was like, that's how you act. I'm like, boy, this nigga auditioned for Empire Reboot. The way this nigga was acting. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. Like, out of all the stories that you could have came up with, you could have, you, two gay race, I mean, two uh, homophobic races mm -hmm. whooped your ass over Empire. You know how racist you got to be? to go watch a black show to look for the gay nigga on the show to hate the nigga and then plot and whoop his ass what season were you looking at because he started gay from start to finish and how long had you been plotting this because they was at least in the last season of empire when they came out to him what happened the first four seasons when it was number one yeah that dave Chappelle joke uh kind of summed it up bro everybody knew what time it was so i just was like i ain't got shit to say about it you know how right. bad you got to be lying to not get support from the black community and the LGBTQ community? They pushing that shit too hard now, though. Nigga, nigga, uh, nigga was uh, um, <laughs> silenced by both. You ain't here. We stand by Jesse on nothing by black people, or um, you ain't here from his older sister, uh, the fine one, Journey or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 Journey. Yeah, you know what was up. Man, she said, I'm still working. All right, I ain't got time to get <laughs> off, so, from, right. from all that. I, I just seen Disney was under fire because Walt Disney uh, rose again. But he, uh, I guess Disney was supporting some bill from the Florida was doing, like the can't say gay bill or something, where they don't talk about uh, sexuality, but, but by a certain age in Florida. I don't know if you heard that. So I guess they passed a bill to where like you can't teach or you can't say anything about uh, child sexuality and before like the third or fourth grade or some shit like that. Did y'all hear that? Nah. But I, I saw know. it on the on the gram. I, I scrolled by. It. I didn't know what it was. Though. We need your Corey in here for this because you know he's from that backwards ass state. But yeah. uh, I was saying wrong with it, man, because I was watching Disney the other day with my daughter and. The little boy on the Disney show wanted to be a princess. And I'm like, bro, my daughter's three. Yeah. Why does she need to know about this right now? And, and he had a fairy godmother. And the fairy godmother was a guy. He was like, yeah, hit her with that. You could be whatever you want to be. Nobody could judge you and all that. And I was like, mm. I was like how are they pushing this at Disney, bro? These kids don't know what they are yet. I, I think like when I see the stuff, I think that I first off, I think you you know you're born or whatever sexuality you're gonna be part of LGBTQ man or straight. I don't think you could just have it, but I also think that like at a certain age, I don't think kids think about sexuality. I think yeah. that you maybe know what you're more aligned to, but I don't think you know that is hurtful until you start getting to like adult qualities. But I just thought it was I I think that. It's not even the fact that they in the movies or in the TV shows. It'd be like, you ever seen a nigga that just like wear a, like a roll guard vest? It's like you got to be seen like when you cross the street, like you got to point it out. And it's almost like it's its own storyline sometimes. If you ever watch the shows, like especially on CW or um, Proud Fam like Proud Family, the reboot had it and the girl, I guess, had two dads. But a, or Michael. We all knew Michael was gay when the Proud Family Every, first came on. Everybody but knew. I, but I feel like I yeah. feel like there's a difference between people learning like to live with it and maneuver it and then just pointing it out. You know, like... like yeah. You know, yeah. I think it, it would be like me walking around telling everybody I'm black. Like, nigga, we know. Yeah, yeah you like... Know what I'm like yeah. It ain't no secret, dog. Just live your life. Um, yeah, man. It, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. But... Uh, Back to but the I, point, the kids. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, go ahead. It's it's like four, five, six, seven year olds running around wanting to be fire trucks, but that shit ain't ever gonna happen. So yeah, I just be like, let them kids be kids. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, kids, man. I be feeling like it's like the abortion bill, the or anti. -abort. I just be feeling like you know you gotta have a lot of gall to tell somebody what the fuck they can do with their lives. So it's if true. a kid, so like you know, I watch Modern Family a lot, right? I just started watching it. But I watch it a lot. You know, two of the dads on there is gay and they're raising a the little girl. Yes. I think it's certain questions a kid will ask when you got two guys bringing the the they daughter or son to a school uh, that they're going to see a man and a woman bringing their daughter. But then you can also ask that kid, 
well, why? Where's my father? So I mean, it ain't like straight niggas got all the maps. Like you know, like every parent is a two parent household. But I just think it's real wild with niggas like in Houston. I think don't y'all got that bill? You can't teach civil rights or black any anti black shit in school. Man, um, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up on it, bro. I don't want to speak on it if I'm not. But uh, it was something along those lines, and from what I understood, it was kind of trying to. Just remove bl- like blatant history. Like it was yeah. almost to the point where it was like, yeah, we ain't gonna. If teach it's offensive, if it's offensive or can make kids, if it can make white people look bad, to t- just of, I don't know, I don't want to go on specific with this, but to the extent of the history that uh, sheds light on the harsher acts by white people, they want that shit to go. They wanted to keep it at nah, Martin Luther that. King and Harriet Tubman level. But let's, let's be honest though, going through school. Uh, how much black nah. history did you really learn about? Glory. It was it was well, it. in February where I have a dream speech. They kind Harry of t- underground t- railroad. Harry Tubman. Malcolm X. Was, was I the, was I the only nigga? Barely that, Malcolm X, bro. Was I yeah? Was, was I the only nigga that cried? Was I the only nigga that cried during uh We Are Martin or whatever that Martin Luther King cartoon when Martin Luther King walked back through the door? He's like Martin, don't go, Martin. And he, uh, they said, what if Martin Luther King never lived? I'm the only one saw that cartoon during Black History Month. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we bro. are Martin. Yeah. Uh, you don't, you don't want to cry too. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, bro. That that, yeah, they don't teach stuff like two that. Most, I forgot y'all the two most racist, racist states. Of course, they yeah. This is yeah, true. Too. I, I heard what y'all. I, I heard what y'all was saying, man. But I'm gonna tell you where I'm from, man. We learn Black History. I don't know because I'm from yeah, Alabama, yeah, yeah. but what we but, do. Uh, what part of Alabama though? Georgiana. Black like, from the South. He, I knew you was in What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's between Birmingham and Montgomery. Actually, it's right before Birmingham, right? Right before Montgomery. Montgomery. Yeah, yeah it's Montgomery. nice up there, man. So it's, nice up there. it's one of the ones if you sneeze, you'll miss it. No, you ain't oh, gonna yeah, miss. You, bet, you ain't gonna you miss. Don't it. even sneeze. Then you better look away. I'm gonna say yeah, because you ain't gonna have no sales service. You ain't gonna have no sales service, so you gonna know where you at. Because you, because you went fucking T-Mobile, right? Somebody like that. You was no, I was, I was with something, but I remember no, I I I think it was Sprint. But no, I remember nowhere. What you mean? That's what I kept telling you. The first time I came there, bro, like I lost all signal on the most treacherous part. (laughs) Hey, that's what it be. If you get a flat tire, hey, pray for the best. Bro, it was no, it was no store. It was no store from a mile. But that man is a man in his city. I'm talking about Spencer James from All American. This hey, is this nigga walk through. Hey, what's up with you, big? Hey, how you doing? You looking good, baby. <laughs> hey, look, what's the, what's the population? Two. About, about, half half population. Half about population. On the phone. Well, no, big uh, about yeah, about. Yeah, about thirty five hundred. Everybody know everybody. Yeah. Some somebody related. Somebody that hits everybody is a lot of people related. Yeah. Shit, oh, we, y'all want to go there? Hey, you from South Carolina? What part of South Carolina are you from? Greenville. Oh shit, yeah, you're a city that, nigga. That nigga said the popular side. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, bro. I was raised in Abbeville, bro. A little small yeah, city. Now he, got, now he about to say, now he about to say Monk's Corner. I was raised in Monk's Corner. You know what I'm saying? Population. <laughs> I'm saying, you claim Nashville, but we don't believe it. Oh, that's fine. You ain't got to. You need to listen. Where, to you, know. where he from? Where he really from? Harrison, he's probably from Virginia. Yeah. He just don't want to tell us. <laughs> you are. Right. You are. Right. New boy, new like That's cool. I mean, I am an athlete like some of these Virginia niggas up here, but that's uh, it's oh, national. I don't know right. nobody from Virginia. That's an athlete. <laughs> All <laughs> you got is Michael Vick and Allen Iverson. Okay, that's cool. okay, nigga. That's then you know somebody from Virginia. Fuck that's, you two. Mean, y'all. that's two great people. What you Let mean? me ask you this: This is what I killed. Randy people. Moss. Did did they did they ever win? Did they ever win? You name two niggas that didn't win. Yes, they were. Did they win? The two niggas you could think of, the two niggas that didn't win. Hey, bro, I'm I'm talk about it, y'all, bro. My bad. I know that's sensitive to some people, but I ain't no fan of y'all. Why not? Why not against him? I respect his game. I respect it. No, I respect it. I don't got nothing against him. I like what he did, but I just ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't no, oh my God, nah, bro. I'm saying, who your team? Who's your player? Back then, you know what I'm saying? When I was I was a Kobe fan. Come on, man. You know what Kobe you know what Kobe said AI? Come on, man. You know what Kobe said AI? 
Thank God he ain't six six. I don't give a damn what he said. And AI was still working Kobe. Yeah, Kobe got these. Kobe had check. He got them. He got them. He had them all the time. What for one ring he didn't? Two. 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 I was in this prime then. We just gonna keep on. We just gonna keep on talking about who was on somebody else's team. I mean, we can do that with everybody. Hey, I had Eric Snow, bro. Come on, that's his hey, personal problem. Win, nigga. <laughs> he did. He made it bro, to- you in the he league? Made- I don't want to hear, don't wanna hear nothing about nobody in the league. Who you got? I don't want to hear that. Hey, he made it that long, bro. bro. That ain't good enough. Nobody talk about making it there. Like Jordan told what Jordan told Charles Barkley. Nobody care about what you did, Chuck. He ain't win. It's simple. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Hey, <laughs> that shit real though, bro. Hey, when it's all hey, boys, that nigga, you didn't win. I ain't yeah. worried about no nigga that's playing oh, you in, don't. Somebody yeah. in the hallway for some on, quarters. Man. Like I said, I ain't worried about no nigga playing somebody in the hallway for some quarters. Jordan ain't shit anyway. Thank you. He won. LeBron did too. He, what they said, he beat Joe Lewis's ass. <laughs> 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 hey, y'all seen this one show on Discovery? Um uh it's called something the legacy it's legacy something but it follow like Dwayne Wade kid Zaire a Vander Holyfield son and Randall Cunningham daughter I see I, I seen the episode uh, I haven't seen it so I'm it's actually watching. real good I know you're not watching that you ain't got no TV but uh no signal look at you from Nashville first off Nashville is the city it's the capital no you ain't you from Virginia my bad I'm sorry Virginia is still the city I'm still what in part city. of Virginia. I'm in Portsmouth. <laughs> no, what part of Virginia are you from? I'm not from any part. <laughs> hey, so Fredo, are you really from Nashville? Like born and raised. So yeah, so the best part about uh so the best part about, mute me I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, so the best part about all the, I don't have to remove you from here because uh but anyways, no, the best the, it's a cool show because it show like how how it is to live as the shadow of one of and they ain't got like regular ass daddies like it ain't like dale curry and steph curry your daddy is like the second best shooting guard my first but second best shooting guard in regards to a lot of people of all time and Dwayne wade evander holyfield was the fucking man and randall cunningham was uh all-star um qb and so i was just watching it and you saw my boxing and i was sitting there like he won his first fight but i was like do you know I would never want to be the son or somebody of. I don't even like being a junior sometimes because you never get like, uh, you never get the recognition. You always compare it to somebody. But I was always wondering. I was like, when Bronny get to the league, what could this nigga do that his daddy has not honestly already? Bronny would have to get shot on court to do something his father has never done. Like, nah. first of all, let me say this. Or I'm trade. You don't like being a junior, nigga. Your dad is not LeBron. Nobody gives a fuck about that junior shit. Who don't? First off, first <laughs> you, you talking about you like me? Don't gotta give a fuck. But anyway, damn. Go ahead. <laughs> I want you to finish. I want you. 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 I it's uh yeah, it's for the TV, but uh yeah no I just thought it was I don't know it's I don't like being a junior because I feel like you can't have your own identity, you know what I'm saying like every time if you every time somebody compare you to the big one or senior like whether you good just like your daddy if you if he wasn't shit and you is who you ain't like, like your daddy, daddy. It's like, he, <laughs> if you ain't shit he was who you ain't nothing like your father well you only got to be a junior to get that nowadays yes, you, yeah. <laughs> you just like your daddy. Glad, but glad you like your daddy, but your daddy was shit back in the day, bro. That's, that's the baby mama, nigga. We ain't we. I can't <laughs> speak for them. I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for the woman, but um, I know Isaiah be hearing all this. Oh, you look just like your daddy, and I know that got to kill her at time. Just shining, looking just like a nigga you can't stand. I know you want to cuss Isaiah out. He like <laughs> rotten bastard. He be like, Mom, I just asked for something to drink. Not you, son. I'm sorry. <laughs> Having PTSD and shit. And hey, she probably do be saying that. Be like, Dad, you. He do something bad. I think it ain't no probably. I, it ain't no probably. I know like just like your ugly ass daddy. Hmm. Ain't nobody ever said ugly and me together. All right, don't bring me down your avenue. Look, <laughs> yeah, bro, you if you want, handle your own trauma. All right, 
between the two of y'all, like niggas gotta come over here and unpack their own shit, you know. But if you was <laughs> ugly, bro, own that. All right. Ass up. All right. I done been plushy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You learn everybody wants some charming. That's all I'm gonna tell you. But if you was ugly, own that shit, you ugly bastard. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, Julian. Are we revealing stuff? You you just revealed it, nigga. Huh? You, said, you said my name, bro. Hey, I'm pulling. I said, <laughs> go ahead. Sure. I've been here for what 18 months. You ain't been here yet. So if I say that, that's what pull you up. I'll say yeah. it every time. I just I'll text, I text you and be like, hey, blank blank, you want to come see me? You'll pull bruh, up. That, I, just, that I just moved here though, bro. You gotta give me time. Niggas. That's how that's why we never go on trips. But bruh, uh, I, moved, I moved in November, bro. Come on now. You know it takes time to get get situated. You're right, four hours. But uh that's not here nor there. I don't want to make this about us. But uh no, I was about to say, uh you saw that shit with Pete Davidson and Kanye? Oh yeah, Kanye is salty, bro. Yeah, he a little salty. Hey, but did you hey did you did you hear what he said in this rap though? When, I didn't hear the rap. I actually stopped listening yeah. to Kanye a long time ago. When he said when he spoke about uh buying a house beside Kim. I seen that shit. He was like, I, what's I the, the point of being rich for? Mm. And I was like, that makes sense. You know, you rich. Hey, do what the fuck you want to do. Buy what you want to buy. I want to know at what point, like. Does he seem like a stalker to you? Because I feel like at what point is people going to stop giving him a pass? Because if you think about this, right? Let's just say, uh, uh, Andrews, you a father. Uh, Chris, you got a girl. <laughs> Hold I'm on. Saying, oh, no, I'm, man. Saying, I'm about to say, I'm saying, oh, okay, Chris, you yes, got man. a daughter. So, you know, you can easily resonate. If yeah. a nigga is doing all this to your daughter, what are you going to say? Yeah, I, I can see it. I can also see Kanye trying to, you know, get up with his kids, but yeah, at a certain point, bro, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fall back. I feel like when a nigga bought the house beside him, if Pete Davidson come outside and they go on the fence like this, then it's a problem, nigga. This ain't. But like yeah, he, like he all the way wild and like he, it's one you don't hear Pete Davis at all, but he was like, he made that video of Pete Davis where he, you know, killing him in the video. He's saying something about the motherfucker all the time. And then he he just doing extra ass shit. But I'm like, you know, at a certain point, you know, Kanye get like a lot of passes from like enthusiasts. You know, Kanye has Kanye is the only nigga that could get 20,000 people to vote for you out of whims on a presidential election. Yeah. Like, do y'all honestly think this much? This is I'm just how you acting now. This is who you would want running the country. But I'm saying, though. When you think about it, Pete Davidson really can't say anything. Like, why not? He got the dub. Why talk about it? He got he got Kim. Yeah. If you, you know, but you know, if he come back at Kanye, it ain't gonna do shit but ruin his career. How's it gonna ruin? How's it gonna ruin Pete Davidson? He's white. It's Kanye. It's is Pete Davidson is white, and Kanye got Trump behind him. What's your point? Yeah, cool. I, I wouldn't bet Trump. against Kanye. You Trump was, was, let's be real. You are gonna bet against Kanye against Pete Davidson? Yes, because look what he's doing. I just feel like I just wonder, like, you know, I'm looking, you know, he starts off with DL Hughley. He's saying stuff about his kid. You know, Kim got to come on there and be like, Kanye, you at my crib. I just want to know, like, everything he's doing, he putting online. And it's just like, at what point, if this was anybody else, Tory, Meg, Chris, cr- clearly Chris Brown. I mean, you see what, think about this, right? Putting this comparison, we said Chris Brown name earlier. Chris Brown got accused of, raping somebody at a at a uh, party with diddy right yeah. yacht party and there was no evidence at all she said you drug raped me and it was ironically when chris brown about to release a, a album or a song and everybody just jumped on chris brown's bandwagon i mean on he did it bandwagon and you remember when tory first shot meg they was asking to remove chris brown and trey songs off of spotify as if all three of them were shooting her in the foot so every time somebody say something about Chris Brown, Chris Brown's not getting the benefit of the doubt. You know, she he had to have text messages of her, and you didn't see one person say they were sorry for blaming because as soon no, as he, he, so, he got it right now, this dude <clears throat> wanted to get divorced from Kim. He wanted to be with Kim, yet he he is dating somebody else that wasn't white girl, which I did not know that was the same girl from Uncut Gems, a little thick white girl. For real? That is, Yes, that's who he was dating. That was who that white she, girl was. But she looked different, but she was on that. She was on that smack. You know what? That was that was a, that rock had been cut. That gym wasn't uncut no more. But uh, <laughs> but he doing that, 
she have a relationship discreet, which is a first because you know usually she out flaunting it. Then he's saying he can't get in touch with the party. He moving right next to her. You harass and every time it's a text message, it's online. You know, I'm just like, what about that shit is cool? Like what what you like I said, Chris, you got a daughter. What's the most a nigga can do? Hey, that that showing up unannounced. Yeah, a, dog. It's a uh it's a tough situation, man, because you know, um depriving the nigga of his kids is a is a different thing. But you can't be crazy about that shit either. Like, but is he depriving cool. are you being deprived of the kids? Like you getting mad because your kid is on TikTok, which I ain't got no problem with that. But because I feel like you know there's certain boundaries where TikTok kind of cross because you know we looking at asses on TikTok, whether the niggas on here want to admit it or not. We looking at yams, and there's no point for little uh girls to be seen over there looking at our debauchery. But it's like, but deep down, you already know what this is about. He didn't want Kim until she got with somebody else. That's not exactly what it is, bro. That's, that's, exactly what it is. That's, that's most niggas nowadays, bro. But I hate that this nigga gets a pass. When have you seen Kanye cancel for anything stupid that he does? So listen, so I realized this too with Kanye. When he do something stupid, he makes a smart move behind it. Like the shit when uh when he first started shit with Pete Davis. That's how that's how he get away with shit. So do something wild, like the nigga do something wild, and then the nigga be like, Well, let me tell you what Kanye did cool. Like every time Kanye no, but listen though, he dropped the he dropped the little music thing, you know, the little where you can download it, like strictly mm-hmm. download the music or whatever, where yeah, he's you launching, pay nobody. He launching the, but I mean that don't but that just let me know that you've always been this smart and this intelligent, you know what I'm saying, and transcendent. So you don't have to do the acts. You don't have to do the yeah, that part is true. Yeah, you don't gotta do that dumb shit. You you I mean, already it, had this in you. Some of that shit could be for publicity too, though. But yeah. you know, but the publicity, like, think about it. I think it was not too long ago when he kept talking about the sex tape, and Ray J said something that I was like, "Damn, I guess he is right." He's like, "Yo, Kanye, I got daughters too. Why you keep talking about this?" How he went and retrieved the second sex tape or all this other shit, and I'm just like, "You supposed to be doing something for your family." But at what point could you, like, if you was to be watching this shit, what point would you be sitting here like, you would have to go back and talk? Like, we already know we're going to talk about your mama. But she done did a lot of stuff credible. Like, she done got motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I think she's done a lot. And I don't take up for the Kardashians at all. I think Chloe, I mean, uh, which one is the one dating Tristan? Chloe? Yeah, I think it's Chloe. Yeah, she, like, and you know, and right now, Kim getting... Talking about get your ass off of the couch and work, you know, for some money. And um, Chloe out there going through hell with Tristan, who I, I, I be trying to tell people. I be trying to tell people. I think we had one girl on here that uh, she was on not too long ago, Jessica. She was like, she wouldn't put up with cheating. She would just go about it. Chloe got way more money than Tristan. All right. And for some odd reason, she keep going back to him. I keep trying to tell people like money don't change your feelings or emotions with people. money that she actually have though has she what you saying like she got way more money than Tristan them you niggas the- got like a billion them niggas got like a billion dollars like don't ever like think that like just but okay, is, it, is it a big it's so I think it's a billion as a family that's still a billion. Have a big, so no I'm saying though it's like okay so the, 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 the youngest one Kylie she got a billion by herself she got, think, a billion, she got a billion by herself, but she also got like a big ass front money. Yeah, she ain't, you got, got a, yeah. she ain't get a shark tank billion where she had to go yeah. get the shit herself. But then you got Kim K. Kim K, you know, she got money. Now, we don't know actually how much money Chloe really got. Nigga, they all got to sign that deal for keeping up the Kardashians. Yeah, that was like a big. Yeah, like I get what you're saying, but yeah, they got, the, they got the bread. My thing is, like, with that big, it's probably split. I feel like if something happened to her and she needs some money, they ain't gonna let her just sink or swim. True. So with 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 that being said, exactly. With that being said, she got more money than Tristan. Tristan just signed. Tristan signed a deal for a hundred mil too. Okay, what's a hundred mil to her? He signed a deal for a hundred million. They they just pay everybody in the league now, bro. Cleveland paid him a hundred mil. Brian got him that contract. Hey, Cleveland balling this year. They are. They, are. <laughs> they really are. I'm just saying they've been balling this year. You know, you know, it's been asked. Side note, 
I'm just not on board with this Tommy show. Like, I, I feel like I did this. I don't like Tommy. it either, bro. I thought I was the only one, dog. Nah, bro. Like, I'm watching it, but it's like, I feel like even like, but I I, I came in with like low expectations, but I'm just like, I'm, I can't get onto it. I really can't. Like, I'm trying, but it's like, it don't make sense to me. Like, you know, he got the long lost black brother who gay and his son got taken away because he was gay but now the son trying to kill him he don't know that the son trying to kill him i don't know if the son know that that's his daddy i think so because he got a picture of him but it's just like it's doing too much then he out here hitting the serbs up old girl who got stabbed in like the second episode she back out there thicker than a snicker boy what with but, the big with the big scar on her face exactly shit tommy hitting the black girl but then the black girl with the other with the irish dude and dude yeah it's it's kind of hard to watch bro only, only, to only reason i say that it isn't like what we expect is because they that, did two seasons and that book of power with uh kana tariq but, but it took two seasons oh, yeah, that's, that's why i'm that's, trying that's, that's why i'm trying to that's, 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 oh that shit yeah. was cold first off tariq yeah that's Tyree got three of the baddest things. First off, the hardest Man. decision ain't how you gonna get to that class or helping Monet or hating, <laughs> I mean, or Kane hating that. It's picking between them three things right there. I'm talking yeah, about I, Lauren. I thought Light Skin Keisha on TikTok. Fuck Light Skin Keisha. I'm talking about Effie. Uh, uh, You're sleeping on Light Skin Keisha, no? Ain't nobody sleeping. She first, off, first off, she, like, all three of them kill her. Face wise, face wise, face wise, it's not even her body. Nope. I've been following her for a long time, nigga. That is not her body. So if she buy it, it ain't hers. No, nigga. So if, if you go to the store, buy a necklace. Is it, is it your necklace or is it still the jeweler's necklace? If somebody was a poke, answer the know, question. If somebody answer was a question. poke. Somebody was a poke. Your old lady. Oh, answer the question. Go ahead. If you so go to the jewelry store and you buy a chain, is it your chain or the jewelry store chain? Depends on who money I use. Use your money. If I use my money I got as a gift, no, it's not my chain. Did <laughs> <I hate> it. <laughs> you want to be that nigga? No, bro. Like, she cool, but all of them is just naturally Diana. That's her name. Dark skin. Yeah. All yeah, three yeah, yeah, actually yeah. follow oh, yeah. Effie. Fine. Oh, I, think, I, think Effie don't, I think Effie the baddest stuff. First of all, you said light skin Keisha make up your No, mind, I'm right? saying out of them three though. Oh, Effie. Yeah, like no, the, it's no, no, no. It's not Lauren. first off, it's Lauren. But yeah, it's Lauren. I, I ain't gonna be mad at you for none of the three. You know, I, I can't be mad either way it go, but yeah, um, yeah, dude. Oh, I, I, I really ain't I like that show, show, but uh the one with Tommy, nah man, I, I just it's hard to watch, bro. I think BMF, BMF is better than that. First off, BMF, BMF yeah, 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 yeah. BMF, you know. But you know, I, you know I, honestly, if, if I'm gonna watch some a white boy with drugs, I'm I'm watching Ozark. Thank you, but I'm trying to tell people. Look, can y'all have have you both of y'all seen Breaking Bad? Yeah. Can you, okay, look, I had this discussion on a prior episode. What is better, Ozark or Breaking Bad? Mm, that's a hard one, but I say Ozark though. I like I feel Ozark though the long way. This is smart, but you know what? We got to give people their credit when they say some good stuff. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I, I would have to say Ozark because he, he the money man. And that's really, that's going to get you jammed up. Yeah. If, you, if your funds ain't looking right, that's what's going to get you jammed up. So, hey, uh, smart moves, man. Hey, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's that's why I think Tyreek, the, the, the ghost story with Tyreek is better than Tommy's because Tommy ain't really making smart moves, bro. He making it all based off instinct and being aggressive. Nigga, like when Tyreek had uh oh what's the old boy name? Uh the one Monet killed, baby daddy. Monet oh, killed? Uh, oh, you talking about uh Mecca? Yeah, yeah. when he had Mecca in the room, bro, had a nigga shook. Man, a nigga transfer me a million dollars into this account. When a nigga two steps ahead of everybody else, bro, it ain't nothing you can do about that nigga. Facts. You got a nigga he's like, oh yeah, I heard you the you the you the sitch on the, the biggest. The biggest dealers in the uh, league, boy. What you what you doing over here? To be nice to know they know Mecca out here still living, still walking around. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll shoot you right now. He's like, if you shoot me, everybody gonna know you out here. Yeah. But like I said, I hated the first season. I'm trying for that man. Weak as fuck, though. But, you know, they talking about, you know, 50 talking about he might leave. Yeah, because he that star's bullshitting. Exactly. Do you, even if Tommy does suck, um, do you feel like stars owe it to that? Because think about this. Uh, Breakfast Club said this, too. How many people was watching stars before 50 took over? Nobody. 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 It wasn't no good shows on there. Exactly. And I can go back and watch the old power, and the old power still hit to a certain point. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because of ghosts. Speaking of another fifty piece, Kyrie just put up fifty again against Orlando. Yeah. Do, does a fifty does a fifty points matter if the team asks? It's still fifty points. I was wondering that, man. I, I say it depends on how many shots you take. Like, cause remember Kyrie put up his first fifty, then they can put up fifty. He only missed four shots. Yeah. But the thing with Kyrie fifty just now, he had forty one in the first half. He did. Shit, that's like Cat had fifty. Two in the third quarter. Yeah, so think about it. You got 41 in the first half. You don't play the majority of the third quarter. And you draw the game with 50. And you probably could have had 70, 80. You know Brian going to go for like 63 this season, right? Brian got a point. He's trying to win the scoring title, man. He got to. I mean, shit, I, I don't know if he'll be the oldest one. Because he won. He he uh, led the league in assists. He was oldest for that. And then I guess it's for that. But I don't know. Like, But – but. Back to what I was saying, but yeah, I, I ain't nobody was watching that shit. I think he should get every bag he uh he's old. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I agree. I seen they push something about going to the um TV station P Diddy on, but I don't know. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know how many people actually watch. I don't got revolt. I got a lot of streaming services. But I yeah, bro. I, I don't see that move. I mean. In theory, it'd be good, you know, going to the black TV station, but but I don't see many people gonna watch that goddamn station. Yeah. But I think they will watch it if they know Ghost, they know Power and BMF and all that's gonna be on there though. Yeah, yeah. That may bring in more viewers. That Damn, may be bro. a chess move. That really is. But like I said, they should owe that nigga. They should call that shit Curtis. They don't call that shit stars. Call that shit <laughs> Curtis. Cause all we doing is watching. I ain't watching. I'm gonna watch P Valley this year just because. Uh, I know somebody on the show, but if it ain't Curtis, it ain't no way. What, what station Snowfall come on? FX. FX. And that shit good, too. Yo, somebody said that you can see John Singleton no longer on, like, his, you can tell that he's passed because somebody said you cannot, he, you can whatever the John Singleton stamp of was, they was like, you don't see it on Snowfall no more. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what what about Snowfall is bad? You can't. First off, what is the John Singleton like stamp yeah. signature <laughs> of anything? And I was like, when did Snowfall get bad? The motherfuckers complain. Now, I heard people say like this season, I guess going over the place, but it's like you on season five. Franklin, the biggest fucking drug dealer, and where is he supposed to do? still stay in Compton, having crack hey, story? Yeah, hold on, don't tell it all, man. I ain't finished. You ain't finished I ain't, what? I ain't caught up on Snowfall, bro. What episode you on? I just I'm on season three. So oh, Franklin oh. just got out of jail. Yep. Boy, yeah. talk about talk about traumatic. You go up in there and you beat one of the motherfucking asses. All right. No, man, look at my man's face right there. He ain't supposed to be looking like bro. Talking about terror. What about right? say I know you she said, and it's your mama. Your mama stay over there. She go to now church you, every Sunday. He was like, yeah, I know where your grandma stay, your little sister. They stay off Sherman and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Next one of you niggas put your hands on me, I'm going to murder everybody in your fucking family. You think I ain't? Ask Lenny about me. Hey, that was I could have been in Cali. I could have. Hey, you might want to cover your ears. Hey, you watch, Snow, you watch the current episode of Snowfall, right, Vic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh, when he said, and I'm out here dealing with the man that could have knocked off my fucking father. All right? Yeah. So I don't care about you or anything. I'm prepared to do anything. To go- no, he said, "What is that? I'm prepared to do anything. Uh, yeah, anybody got to be done, to bro." Aunt. If I ain't seen a scene, I thought that Leon scene. Oh, you ain't even got to man boy yet. I ain't even seen thought that Leon scene. You gonna get off his corners? You gonna stop fucking with his people? All right, I built this shit brick by brick, and I'll be damned if I let somebody ruin this because you don't like the way another nigga talk. 
<laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey, best. Up, what's the best episode of uh, the Empower with Tyree? The best episode that I one. Pro- I'm gonna say the episode eight, the two episode before when, um, it was the episode before. Oh, when Diana told that secret. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Was, uh. Hey, but she dragged the mic and walked off, but Yeah, she did. Kane put sugar in the coat just for you to take him back. Yeah. And Ma, I ain't the only one bucking somebody I shouldn't, huh? And then Zeke, dumb at dog, dog, ball day, ball day, that, 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 that she wanted to be like, nigga, is you that ain't your auntie Zeke? That's your muffler. You know the New York accent. That's your muffler. Mm. It's not your auntie. <laughs> I, I thought the name was about to say, Auntie, how long you do? <laughs> That's what he was about to be like, Auntie, what's she saying? You, you know that nigga really 39 in real life? Bruh, you know, you seen the nigga drop the song? Bruh. Man, they said they said that shit was terrible. That song is horrible. Yeah, duh. I don't know. Uh, I said, what time? Oh, we can wrap it here. I guess what y'all boys got coming up? What y'all got some in the works things need to know? Nick, go ahead, Mill. Nick, you gonna be a Power Ranger by the end of the year? Probably so, dog. Go go, like, go go, go <laughs> nigga <laughs> Ranger. Hey, Nick, out there. Oh, front of here. Yeah, from the left side. What do you say? I said, dude, we have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm I'm probably gonna look into teaching some classes later this year, some pistol classes. So, um, yeah, that's probably what I got going on. Um, I'm gonna send a homegirl to you too, huh? Uh, uh my old lady, uh, cousins in Houston. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her boyfriend's oh, crazy. Was, Look, her boyfriend's crazy. I was wondering where you was going with that. I'm gonna send a homegirl to you. Look. She need to learn. She need to learn how to use. Yeah, yeah. Send her my Instagram, bro. You say, um, you say guns, so niggas don't think you talking about. She need to learn how to use her fingers. She's like, oh, she gonna take it to a sex store. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> or the, or them new yeah, yeah. That's your new nigga. Bro, I'm still trying to get. I'm, I'm still trying to get like. When are we gonna get a reunion? Not. It ain't got to be even to New Orleans. But when are we gonna get a reunion? Uh, set up. <laughs> Uh okay. Uh yeah, you know where? I heard Tampa is lit, dog. I heard Tampa. I want to go to Tampa. I want to go to Tampa, but I want everybody to drive the same distance. And Jacroy, that's like a four hour drive. Uh that's yeah. I said three I mean, hours. ATL. I mean, and shit. I'm the furthest one out. And yeah, that's Pat, true. You fly. Where Pat at? Pat Mary. I don't know. Pat, Pat, Pat in Florida. Pat don't Pat return. Florida. Yeah. So he, Pat, don't, Pat don't even hit the like button on messages no more. It used to be <laughs> he ain't respond in the group chat that he just hit the like message. Now he just don't even look. I know he get notification. Hey, only way you talk to Pat if you uh, we got a little group message going on from niggas from Hawaii, or if he get on, he play Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about he trash. <laughs> oh, I know that. Pat was always that nigga that was like, like remember when we played basketball and he was just long and lanky, but he be out there. I think football was like the only one he was like solid at baseball. Yeah, no, yeah, it was baseball. baseball my sport, yeah. yeah, baseball, his sport. Because I just see the nigga Matt Backboard and miss the layup. Mm, mm, mm. That's the same with Jacroy's uh, strong ass. Yeah. Football is this. It's no way. <laughs> that boy angry. Oh, yeah, you know, he got that Haitian in him. Out mm. in the street, they call it mother. But nah, man, I appreciate y'all boys for coming on long over. Yeah, years. man. Uh, this has been good. Um, Man, I've still been going on to, I think it was like a year or so ago, last time y'all was on. So, yeah. man, it's been, I'm yeah. glad everybody's thriving and prospering, you know. My guy is a drill sergeant, you know, shout out to my guy, HM2 Mills, drill sergeant extraordinaire. <laughs> left, 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 left. Hey, he from there. <laughs> left, right, left, get on up. No, he that's Petey Pablo. No, that's Petey Pablo, my fault. You still take you still shaking your shirt off? You from North Carolina, Carolina, nigga. <laughs> you know the the baby is really the only thing keeping y'all popping. You from North Carolina? Oh, he is. Well, shit, y'all ain't got nothing there. My bad. But uh, nah. Yeah, college nah. basketball, women. Exactly, nothing. So uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's sexist. Yo, you did you? Oh, that Brittany Griner shit. Did you know she was over there for like three weeks before they even reported it? 
Bro, yeah. she makes more money in Russia than America. Mm -hmm. She's still a prisoner. I don't yeah. know if I want yeah, yeah, yeah. to. That's the thing, though. Like, she, everybody said, why she's over there? Why she's over there? Bro, she's over there making majority of her money. Did you hear what she, did you hear what she got hemmed up for? Yeah. My fucking took CBD. Yeah, it was a vape. I thought it was CDB or yeah, like the little juice. Yeah. yeah, it was a vape pen with like CDB or weed in it or something, and she got jammed. Black uh, women. I think that's women. more so of a political thing. I think honestly, they could have been let her ass go, but somebody I mean, asked me. They're trying to prove a point. Somebody yeah. asked me what jail that they put her in. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> they can do it. Matter is fucking Russia. I, I, was, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you though. Brittany grinding like six six. You know what I'm saying. Like, like six, six eight. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You can't, and she tatted up, and her voice deep as hell. You can't tell me. And she got the red. Exactly, and she removed her breast. You can't. Really? Yeah, I I bet you that day she was like, I know what a Russian jail is like. Send me to the women. All right, I yeah. I ain't doing this shit. Hell, no. <laughs> oh. And she get the What's your name, Tony? No, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Look, I saw Oliver Queen had to go through an arrow. That motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucker had to break his thumbs to get out of chains and locks. Britney ain't doing that. All right. Britney just we just started seeing Britney dunk on a consistent basis. All right. Now she's gonna dislocate her thumb and pop it out. Boy, I'm out here talking bullshit. Uh no, but uh make sure everybody goes to and checks out the 8192 podcast merch. We finally restocked. We'll have something out for all the seasons. So we got our fleeces and our uh well fleece jackets out right now because you know everybody want to go out there and it's still cold for some odd reason in march i appreciate everybody that sent me birthday uh text messages gifts everything like that y'all did make my rip hamilton year come into very good so i appreciate all y'all for that uh check the link on the instagram page it's for our shopify it's on all of our other sites as well so make sure you check that out and if y'all have any questions make sure you hit us up on the eight more than 92 podcast at gmail.com for our emails and any topic that you got i will read it during the show so i appreciate my guys vic and i appreciate my guys chris the other vic is gone so i can go ahead and just say this one vic here is only one vic standing but uh, i appreciate y'all boys for coming on and this has been another episode of the eight more than 92 podcast we always keep 100 and somebody getting a call so we ended it at the right time we're gonna holler at y'all peace 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 Back in this bitch, uh, know we full attack in this shit, uh, you know the full map came equipped, uh, so promise you don't want no issues.